Is wearing a cross around your neck a form of idolatry? Hello, my brothers and sisters. Hope you're doing well. Hope you are having a blessed and great day. A beautiful day. It's been a warm week here. My part of the world, my part of the country. And, um, you know, I, I've been getting a couple of comments, to, you know, not that often, but some here and there about since I've started this uh, ministry here about uh, you shouldn't be wearing that, brother. Now, let, let's talk about the cross and let's talk about idolatry here. There's, there is a debate as to whether it's appropriate or not, whether you should or not, or even sinful. To wear, you know, across religious jewelry, like, uh, you know, obviously a cross, crucifixion. But, you know, they were, let's just put it this way. The crucifixion, before it happened, I don't think people were wearing crosses until it, ha until it happened. Now, is it idolatry to wear a cross? Is it a sin to wear a cross around your neck? Many look at the cross as uh, simply a, uh, uh, the instrument of death they used to crucify Jesus Christ, our beloved Savior, our beloved King. Others see it as a symbolic. They see, symbolic, uh, they see it as symbolic of Jesus' death and resurrection, uh, uh, a reminder of the sacrifice and victory that Christ uh, had, and a reminder of God's gift of grace, the combination, actually, of these two. Because it, it was God's will, Jesus willingly went to the cross, taking upon himself the sins of the world cleansing those who believe in him of their own sins, my sins, your sins. That's the good news of the gospel. The only reason why scripture would forbid religious jewelry, like a cross, crucifixion, would be if the object became an idol used for worship. Now, an idol could be anything. You could have a car, it could become your idol. You could have money, oh, oh boy, can that become your idol. You could have possessions, that could become an idol. You could love sports, that could become an idol. Anything that put ahead of God is an idol. We're all guilty of it. This in itself is not an idol. Now, if I put this on a pedestal and started worshiping, bowing down to it and praying to it, that's an idol. Let's read 1 Corinthians ten fourteen. Therefore, my beloved, flee from idolatry. Idolatry could be anything that is ahead of God. Or if, or, or if who was ever wearing it, like I said, was consumed by it, and how did Julia made him or her look? As we read in 1 Peter 3.3, 3, Do not let your adoring be external, the braiding of hair, the putting on of gold, jewelry, or clothing you may wear. So if we put on something and it becomes an idol, we're consumed by it, by clothing, by this and that. Yeah, it's an idol. I agree with people. Yeah, it's an idol. Is wearing a cross an idol? If I wear it for certain reasons? If I put it on a pedestal? Yeah, it's an idol. Or if it becomes a stomach block to others? 1 Corinthians 8, 9. But take care that the right of yours does not somehow become a stumbling block to the weak. Romans 14, 13. Therefore, let us not pass judgment on one another any longer, but rather decide never to put a stumbling block or hindrance in the way of a brother. And many of us wear crosses, jewelry, as a, as a fashion piece without concern for its symbolism. They just wear it. People say, oh, you're Italian. You just, that, that's why you're wearing the cross. My desire is to represent Christ. That's where my heart is. This represents what he did. 
I don't take this off and put it on a counter and worship it. I wear this for him. That's my feeling. I'm not worshiping, I'm not idolizing it. I don't think, you know, Christians shouldn't wear crosses. If they don't want, if they want to wear it, they, they should be able to. You know, many of us wear it as a proud expression, like I just said, with their love, respect, their, their gratitude, and service to, to Christ. I'm a servant of Christ. As also just a remembrance for what he did for us. Like I said, what he did for us. Now there are people who will say, well, you don't need that to remember. No, it's in my heart. But I wear this to represent him. And do not idolize, idolize this piece of jewelry. You're the ones who could be idolizing something. If it's put ahead of God. I've done it. Come on. You know, another concern I get it when people, you know, might put a bumper sticker on their car. Uh, if, again, crosses in their house, figurines, whatever, to take the place of, uh, um, to take the place in our hearts. It could take over our hearts. It could become an idol. So if it takes over your heart, then it becomes an idol. The thing we wear, carry, or or, or put on. Uh, our cars are not uh, what makes us Christians. Like I said, bumper stickers or anything else. That is not concerned with what we wear as long as um, as long as we, we do not dress in a way that would uh, cause anyone to stumble in his or her walk with God. Romans fourteen twenty. Do not for the sake of food destroy the work of God. Everything is indeed clean, but it is wrong for anyone to make another stumble what he eats, by what he eats. And we are not absorbed with our, we shouldn't be absorbed with our looks, our possessions, like I said before. He is searching our hearts. He's looking at our hearts to find who is faithful to him and whether uh, we encourage and show Jesus Christ to others. Jesus' love to others. It is not fair for anyone, any one of us to judge whether wearing a cross is proper or not. Every Christian has to, every believer has to speak, has to seek God's approval in all that he or she does. It's not, it's not clearly uh, documented in Scripture whether uh, a practice is lawful, edifying. Um, then let let that practice be uh, better left to each person's uh, own judgment. If I take this off, like I said, if I take this off and start worshiping it, bowing down to it, and love it, put it on a pedestal, wow, I love my cross, I love how beautiful it is, then it becomes an idol. Anything ahead of God, it becomes an idol. So if people are passing judgment on me, and that's fine. It's not an idol. An idol could be anything. Uh, let me read uh, something from here as well that I had written. You know, uh, people will say, well, do not make any carved or graven images of, of Jesus Christ. I agree. Do not make images of him. I, I, I know sometimes I could be guilty of it trying to, uh, you know, do a video or put a thumbnail up. Um, but this is not a graven image of him. This is just a cross. You know, you know, the Bible says any anything that do not make any likeness that is in heaven, above the earth or beneath the earth. As we read in Exodus 20, let me get this out of the way. Exodus 20, 1 to 15. And God spoke all these words, saying, I am the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of slavery. You shall have no other gods before me. You shall, have, you shall not make for yourselves a carved image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water underneath the earth. You shall not bow down to them or serve them. For I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the, of the fathers on the children to the third and fourth generation of those who hate me, 
Anything put ahead of God is an idol. Anything worshipped ahead of God is an idol. We're all guilty of it. I'm telling you all right now. I'm telling you all right now. You're guilty of it. You're guilty of it. Leviticus 26.1 You shall not make idols for yourselves, or erect an image, or a pillar, or you shall not set up a figure, figured stone in your land to bow down to. For I am the Lord your God. This, again, I'm, you're not, I'm not bowing down to this. I'm not bowing down to this like the Catholics do. I'm not a Catholic. I'm a follower of Christ and the truth. They'll bow down to the cross. They'll bow down like this. Kiss the feet of the wooden statue of what Jesus they, they say looks like. So oh, am I worshipping a cross? Or am I just wearing it to represent Jesus Christ? To represent what he did for us. That he died and rose on the third day again. That we may have eternal life. So as we read these scriptures. Yeah, God is saying do not make a graven image of me. Do not uh, worship anything that uh, is put ahead of me. Anything put ahead of God is an idol. Let's get that straight. You can put yourself ahead of, of God. You can love yourself to death when you put yourself ahead of God. Oh, I just bought this new phone. Look, I love this phone. I can't live without this phone. Oh, I'm, I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh, I just got this new car. I'm in love with this car. And you, you're worshiping it and you're loving it. So again, I'll state I am not worshiping this cross that I'm wearing. I'm wearing it as a representation of Jesus Christ. So, let's read a couple of more scriptures here. Well, we know that Jesus, you know, obviously was, uh, excuse me guys, this is, uh, this is in my way of reading scripture. I mean, we know that Jesus was hung on the cross, hung on the tree. The Bible does say cross. They sometimes say tree. So some people will say, well, you know, the cross is wrong anyway. It should be one, it would be one straight uh, piece of wood, basically. Let's read, uh, let's, let's read Matthew 5, 29 to 30. Let me see. Hold on, guys. Sorry, bear with me, guys. Sometimes this take, uh, takes a little longer. Because I want to make sure... Let's read uh, Philippians uh, 4, 4.13. No, let's read, uh, I'm sorry, guys. Philippians 4, 8 to 9. Oh, now this thing's bugging out on me. <laughs> well, like I said, sometimes we have, you know, we have technical problems and I'm having them now. But anyway, <laughs> I think every one of my videos is something that goes wrong. And that's the devil at his work. <laughs> yeah, this is going wacky on me, folks. Ah, the devil, you know, you're at it. You're at it again. You're trying to steal my thunder. But it's not going to work. Ah. <laughs> Some people call the cross pagan. You know, like I said, they'll call the cross that uh, that it's pagan. Again, they believe that he was, like the Bible does say, he was nailed to the tree. But the boy Bellow says he was nailed to his cross. I think that's Peter 2.24. Uh, like I said, the mud. The... Yeah, we're going to have to uh, kibosh this uh, my, my tablet for now. Uh, but, um, okay. 
Yeah, you know, you know, Satan. Yeah, I should be looking down at you. They're at it again. <laughs> like I said, we laugh. Uh, we laugh on my channel. We gotta. But the Bible doesn't, you know, the Bible doesn't say anything. Reference wearing a cross necklace. It, you know, you know, it doesn't say anything about a necklace scroll. I mean, we we read some scripture about making jewelry your idol, but it doesn't say wearing the cross itself. I'm not going to use that as my defense. I'm going to use my defense as like, I don't idolize this. I wear it for a purpose. I wear it for him. Yes, he's in my heart. That's the main thing. But this is this is out representing him. Not just a piece of jewelry. Not because I'm Italian. This is representing him, what he did on the cross, what he did for us. Anything else could be an idol. Food could be an idol. A perfume, cologne. You love this cologne so much. Can't live without this. Can't live without that. It's an idol. Our uh, sins can be an idol. Gambling, drugs, alcohol. How many times is that an idol? You tell me. So wearing this does not make me an, uh, an idol worshiper. If I put, like I said, one more time, if I put it on a mantle, put it on a nice piece of wood or something, and, and it's going like this. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you. Grabbing the cross and saying thank you. At the Catholic show. That's not me. And that's not that that's idolatry. So in conclusion, wearing the cross does not make you an idol worshiper. If you worship it, yeah, you are. Anything ahead of God is an idol. Okay, folks, well we had some laughs and <laughs> I wanted to read more scripture, but I, I think I got the gist of it. And like I said, uh we we, we do have some laughs on this channel and we we gotta laugh at uh what the devil is up to. Everything was just working fine until uh, until I went into phase number two. But I think, believe we got the gist of it. Anything you put ahead of God is an idol. If you wear a cross and you put it ahead of God, yeah, it's an idol. If you're wearing it for a reason, like I do, it's not an idol. <laughs> oh, Lord. What do you... How much more? How much more do I have to take? How much more? Help me. <laughs> Anyway, folks, thank you for watching. Thank you for bearing with me with my technical difficulties and all. I love you all very much. Remember, anything ahead of God is an idol. God bless you.